Hey guys, I'm here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Squared Grade 2 Module 1 Topic G. Alright, so this topic, we're going to explore more of place value with money. So let's get started. Each lesson will have two parts, the explanation part and then the actual lesson part. So the explanation part will be going over some problems um, and the actual lesson part We'll be doing the problems that are similar to the ones in the explanation part. All right, so number one, draw bills for $121. Draw two weights. So example, we have 100, two tens, and one one. 121. Another way you could do it, because it says draw two ways. Keep the 100. Instead of two tens, make it one ten and 11 ones. Because we know 110 is equal to 10 ones. So we can take one of those tens and transform it to 10 ones. And plus that one, one that still remains. All right. So, all right, lesson 28. Number one, draw bills for $210. Well, let's. Two one hundreds and one ten. So that's just two hundred ten dollars. And we don't have any ones. And now number two, draw bills for two hundred twelve dollars. Draw two ways. Alright, so the first way would just be two one hundred one ten and two ones. All right. So that would just be one way to do it. Now another way we could do it, then we have our two one hundreds. And instead of one ten will do zero tens because we know one ten is equal to ten one. So we'll move that over here and do ten ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this is our ten because now it's ten ones. And we still have that two ones from before. So one and one. All right. So that's it for lesson 28. Now lesson 29, this is the explanation part. All right. So count by ones, tens, and hundreds. So number one, 378 to 700. So 378. First, we counted to 380 because then we reached a benchmark number. 380 would be the next 10 for 378. So you add, so this is count by ones, tens, and hundreds. So first we counted by ones, we counted two ones, and then we counted by two tens to get to 400. So our next benchmark number, so our next hundred. And then from here, we can count by hundreds so we can count by a bigger place value all the way up to 700. So in total, we count 322. Okay. All right, and number two, use the number line to subtract. 54 minus six is 54. We know 50 is over here, so we can subtract four to get to 50. And then minus two more because we're subtracting six in total. So minus two more and we get 48. So 54 minus six is 48. All right, number three, Beth has eight pretzels. Peg has six pretzels. How many pretzels do Beth and Peg have in all? So we drew it, they drew it out in dots. Beth has eight and Peg has six. How many pretzels? So 8 plus 2 is 10, like here. So they group this up to show this whole group is a 10. 
So they broke Peg's amount into two and four. So first they did eight plus two, which is 10. So this box is 10. And then plus the four over here equals 14. 10 plus four is 14. So Beth and Peg have 14 pretzels in all. Okay. This is lesson 29, the actual homework part. All right, so. Count my ones, tens, and hundreds. First, 200, 830. All right, we can start at 200 and count by hundreds. So, plus 100, this is 300. And then, plus 100 again, it's 400. Plus 100 again, this is 500. Plus 100 again, 600. 700. 800. And we gotta get to 830, so we can count by a smaller unit now, count by tens. So it's plus 10, it's 810. Plus 10, which is 820. And then final plus 10, which is 830. So 200 to 830. Okay, now 447 to 600. Start 447. First, I'm gonna get to 450, which is our benchmark number. So plus one, two, three. And I'll go from 447 um, to 450. And 450, you can count by tens. Two, three, four. So count by 450, it says 460, 470, 480, 490, 500. So we got to 500, our next benchmark number. So now we can count by a bigger unit to 600. All you do is add one more hundred and we reach 600. So 447 to 600. All right, now 500 is 744. Start at 500 and count plus 100, which is 600 and then plus another 100, which is 700. And now we can count by a small unit to get to 740. So one, two, three, four. We've added four tens, so now we're at 740. And then four ones. Seven hundred forty-four, so five hundred to seven hundred forty-four. Okay. Right. Next page. Number four. Use the number line to subtract. Okay. Right. So sixty-three minus nine. First thing we gotta do is find sixty-three. This is sixty, so this is sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three. So we have 63 right here, minus nine. So first I'm gonna subtract one, two, three to get to 60, our benchmark number. And then since we're subtracting nine total, we can subtract nine, um, six more. So we, subtract, oh my, we subtracted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this right here, which is 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So 63 minus nine equals 54. All right, number five, Ling has nine t-shirts, Sal has six t-shirts. How many t-shirts do Ling and Sal have in all? So Ling has nine. Four, 
and Sal has six. Okay, so first we're gonna do Ling is nine plus, we know nine plus one is 10, so we're gonna group this together. So now we have 10, so nine plus one, and then plus the remaining five out here. So nine plus one is 10, so then we have 10 plus five, which is 15, which means Ling and Sal have 15 t-shirts in all. All right, next, this is lesson 30, explanation part. Number one, how many more $100 bills make 1,000? Show how you know. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight $100 bills. And we need two more to get to 1,000 since eight plus two equals 10. So that means there's 10 hundreds and 1,000. So we need two more. And number two, how many more $10 bills make um, 1,000? So show how you know. So we know we need two more $100 bills to reach 1,000. And $100 bill is equal to 10 tenths. So 100 is equal to 10 tenths, and we need two more. So then we have 10 plus 10, which is 20. So 20 more tens, 20 more $10 bills to make $1,000. All right, this is lesson 30. Show how many more $100 bills to make 1,000. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we need eight, nine, 10. Cause what, 10 $100 bills make 1,000. So we need three more. We need three more $100 bills to make 1,000. And number two, how many more $10 bills to make 1,000? Show how you know. Okay, well, we know we need three more $100 bills. So let's draw that out first. $100 bill is equal to 10 tens. So if three, we have three of them, that'd be three times 10, which is 30. So we need 30 more tens, 30 more $10 bills to make $1,000. So yeah. All right, that's it for today's um, lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.